Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I wanna get real about a controversial trending topic it's a particular sex trend that's been going around for a while now that I've wanted to comment on for quite some time. So I'm going to be talking about it today. And it is a trend of women putting ice in their vaginas. We're going to talk about why women are doing this and whether or not it's a good idea. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my God, oh my God. So a few months ago, I noticed a trend going around on TikTok of young women putting ice cubes into their vaginas and essentially encouraging other young women to go and do it in order to feel pleasure. Now, the actual idea behind this does make sense because temperature play can be something that can be incredibly pleasurable. Temperature play is when you experiment with cooler and warmer temperatures in or on the body in order to just feel more stimulated. However, doing temperature play by putting something like an ice cube into your vagina is definitely not safe and something which I would recommend very strongly against doing. And that's because when you're putting a cube of ice into your vagina, what you are actually doing is introducing potential bacteria into your vaginal environment. This is the same reason why I strongly recommend against douching, which is a practice where women essentially flush water into their vagina in order to cleanse it. And I'm using air quotes or cleanse it because if you've watched my videos for a while now, you should know that the vagina does not need cleansing. It is self-cleansing. That is why women have vaginal discharge. Our discharge is our vagina's very natural, healthy, safe way of cleaning out our vagina and keeping it in a constant state of being pH balanced. And pH balance is really important for our vaginas. They need to always maintain that balance in order to stay healthy. Now, when you're introducing potential bacteria, something which could so easily be in an ice cube, there's all kinds of bacteria that can live inside water, then you are almost certainly going to throw your pH balance out of whack and you're potentially going to end up with a bacterial infection. So ice should really only ever be used for putting in your cocktail or your drink, or if you want to get a little bit sexy with some ice, try using it externally on a safe area of the body, like on your nipples or your partner's nipples. You can circle an ice cube around and that can feel really stimulating. It can help the nipples to become erect from the coolness and that can be very sexy. But don't put ice on your vulva or certainly inside your vagina because that really is a recipe for ending up with a bacterial infection. Now, if you want to enjoy a bit of temperature play, because like I said earlier, a bit of coolness inside the vagina can actually be really stimulating and it can definitely feel pleasurable for a lot of women and even help them to get to climax. Then what I would recommend doing as a much safer version of this trend is to use a glass or crystal dildo and put it in the fridge or freezer for about 20 minutes. Now, before you put it in the fridge or freezer, what I would recommend doing is sealing it in a Ziploc bag. And the reason I recommend doing this is because that Ziploc bag is going to protect your dildo from coming into contact with any potential bacteria that might be in the fridge or freezer. If you just go ahead and put your dildo in the fridge or freezer, just lay it in there, it's going to pick up all sorts of bacteria and then it's not going to be safe to use. So seal it up, make sure it's clean obviously and sterilized and washed with your sex toy cleaner. Seal it up in a Ziploc bag, put it away for 20 minutes in the fridge, and then you can use it nice and cool. Now, once you have done that, I would strongly recommend that you do use a water-based lubricant on your dildo. That's just going to make sure that you have a nice, comfortable, smooth entry. And also the lubricant is going to help it to even feel more stimulating and more pleasurable when you're putting it inside yourself. Now, the lube that I use and would recommend for something like 
a dildo is Astroglide's water-based lubricant. This is their little travel-sized one. I like this one because I can pop it in my handbag and take it around with me if maybe I'm gonna get frisky at some point. I never know, you know, if the mood's gonna strike me. But they do also have a larger size bottle of this as well that you can keep in your bedside table. A water-based lubricant like this is really great because they're nice and runny, so a little bit goes a long way. You only need to use a very small amount. And water-based lubricants tend to most closely mimic your body's natural lubrication in terms of how it feels when you're putting it on. So it's a really great one to use with a dildo and it's completely safe to be using as well with your dildos. It's not going to damage the dildo. So keep those ice cubes for putting in your cocktails or maybe just using on the upper body. Don't be putting them on your vulva or in your vagina. It is just not safe. Please let's let that trend die right now and do go ahead and enjoy a bit of temperature play if you want, but use the safe tips that I've provided in this video to do that. In terms of warm temperature play, you can certainly use warm things externally on your body, but never ever heat up a sex toy, whether that's a dildo or a vibrator, not just because heat is going to damage your sex toy and make it also more likely to pick up bacteria, but also because the vagina is not meant to be having warm or hot objects inside it. You can damage the delicate tissue inside your vagina and really end up actually seriously injuring yourself. So only ever experiment with the cooler temperatures using the tips in this video and go ahead and have fun with that temperature play. And if you wanna grab that Astro Guide lubricant, guys, I will put the link for it in the description down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you'd like me to comment on more sex trends and give my thoughts on what I think of them and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here and you want more sex positive content and I'll see you guys in the next video Mwah.